let consider here a certain weight and we want to find out the weight of this body so we will suspend this with the help of the spring scale and we can measure this weight so in this case we are getting a buoyant force due to air but the buoyant force due to air can be neglected so whatever the reading is given by the spring balance will be the true weight so we have a stone here of irregular shape having weight equals to w and the buoyant force will be neglected therefore the spring balance reading will be same as the true weight so let's say w represents the true weight so true weight is obtained by measuring the weight of the given body in air so how exactly we get this for this one we'll cut the figure at this point this force will be the spring force and the weight is acting vertically downward so for stone if we take so in this case we will find that the spring force is same as w so it will measure the true weight now suppose the same stone we deep in a water so this one is a stone and is deep in a water so since it was completely submerged it will experience a buoyant force rho l is the density of surrounding fluid and now suppose we want to measure the weight of this one using a spring balance again so this time the spring balance will record the value which is less than the true weight here the weight will act vertically downward the buoyant force will act vertically upward and the tension in the spring is an inward force so if we cut at the section here and we apply the sigma fi equals to 0 then the the spring reading will be equals to your spring force sigma fi equal to 0 buoyant force is upward is positive weight is downward is negative and the spring force is upward is positive so we have spring force equals to weight minus buoyant force so here weight is less than the buoyant force that is called as apparent weight and is calculated by the buoyant force equals to rho of liquid multiplied by g multiplied by the volume displaced that is the volume of the whole body so this time recording of the spring balance is called as the apparent weight is not a true weight but less than the actual weight by buoyant force Let's consider here a spherical object of diameter equal to 1 having density of the liquid equal to 800 and the material density is 2400 now since the material is heavier it will try to sink in the downward direction therefore to stop the downward motion we have attached one cable here so to show the tension in the cable we will cut the section here and we will develop the bd the weight of the sphere will act in a downward direction buoyant force will be upward and the tension will be inward force so this is tension this one is weight this one is buoyant force so again we can apply sigma fi for this tension is upward is positive this time buoyant force is upward is positive weight is downward is negative so we can very well calculate tension here is equals to w minus buoyant force w is obtained by mul uh, multiplying rho m with the g into volume the volume of sphere v now this time the volume displaced and volume is same because it is fully submerged body minus density of liquid multiplied by volume displaced multiplied by g now volume displaced is same g is same so we will take out rho m minus rho common multiplied by vd 4 by 3 pi r cube or pi by 6 d cube so put this value minus 800 into pi by 6 into 1 cube into g so answer is approximately equal to 8.2 kilo newton suppose instead of this we have taken a spring here so we are able to calculate the spring displacement so let's take the k value is equal to here 10 kilo newton so almost all theory remains same we have instead of this tension we have a spring force here so we can replace t by using a spring force so this t instead of t you have to write down spring force everywhere t is replaced by spring force and spring force is given by kp multiplied by x where x is the displacement of the spring so in all this one tension is replaced by spring force so we have a same answer of spring force and the spring force is given by k value is 10 kN, so it is 10,000 multiplied by x is equal to 8200 so x is equal to 0.82 meters okay let's consider one more problem here we have a diameter of d equal to 1 meter density of liquid is equal to 800 and the material density is 800 kg per meter cube now since the density of the material is less than the density of liquid it will try to buoy up that is the buoyant force will be more therefore it will try to come out of the free surface level so it will be level will be like this but if we want to dip it completely so you have to tie the string from the bottom in that case the string attached at the bottom will be in tension so they can form in num uh, numericals like this let's assume that it is completely submerged so if again we try to develop the ABD for this one so weight will act vertically downward buoyant force will be vertically upward and we have a tension inward direction so in all this problem you apply sigma fi equal to zero 
this one is tension this one is buoyant force and this one is weight w so we have sigma fi equal to 0 so we'll take fbd only about the sphere body so buoyant force is positive value tension is negative value weight is negative value equal to 0 so we can find out tension t is equals to buoyant force minus w you will get almost same equation here is the density of liquid minus density of material multiplied by pi by 6 d cube multiplied by g so put all this value and you will get the answer equal to 1.027 kilonewton suppose instead of we will replace this block by cube suppose and he will give the dimension of the cube and the cube dimension is 1 meter so we can again able to find out the tension in the cable so this time the side of the cube is 1 meter so your FBD will remain same there is no change your governing equation will also remain same and the volume will become a cube that is 1 cube so you put up all value and you will get a new tension equals to 1.962